answering the question with the question, which atheists always tend to do when I ask do the we? question. Well, here's the question. Well, well, Notice I okay. just said it. He goes, do we? <laughs> so here's the question. What proof or evidence can you guys provide that atheism is accurate and correct? And let's see if you can do it without asking a question with the question. And then I'll tell sure, you how you a, did that's a fair. That's a fair condition, I think. I'll, I I'll, think I'll so. Because there was no oh, proof really? or evidence when I looked for it. That's why I left the humanist religion of atheism. But go ahead. I'll okay. listen. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Well, since I'm going first, uh, the um, <laughs> atheism accurate and correct. Well, well what proof is no, accurate and correct? Evidence. What proof no, or certainly. evidence? The evidence. The evidence. First, we have to make sure we understand what atheism is, because you keep talking about the humanist religion of atheism, and I think you're, you, you don't know what you're talking about. You say you were an atheist, you seem to so have a very... atheism is not humanism? Do. Atheism you want, is not you want humanism? me to answer? Go ahead and let Go me... Go ahead, what proof or evidence? Give me a chance to answer first. We have Please. to make sure we're talking about the same thing, Rich, or otherwise we're only going to be talking past one another. Whatever now, way you, you want to... Listen, whatever way you want to define it, all I'm saying is what proof or evidence do you have that atheism is accurate and correct. Fair it's enough. A very well, simple well, question. I, Try not to him and hon and avoid the question. Just simply answer it. You should have all kinds of proof and evidence. But well, I've been on a but a uh, minute, and I haven't heard you anything. If you want to answer, I will do so. Are you Go ready? Ahead. I'm ready. I'm on the edge of my chair. You'll be okay. the first atheist ever to answer don't, it. Don't fall off. Very well. We won't. We won't touch on your definition. We'll, I'll give you my definition. No, any my definition. definition atheism. Atheism's madness. So who cares what the definition is? It's madness. But go ahead and go for it. I'll listen to see what... I really appreciate your listening. So, atheism is exactly no more, no less than not having a belief in God. The evidence that I that atheism is correct for me is that I, through introspection, know, I know for a fact that I do not have any belief in a God. Therefore, I'm an atheist. Atheism is a description. Where's your Just proof like, Where's the proof of evidence? proof that I'm an atheist? You want your proof and evidence. You want your proof of evidence. You, you evidence that you, you're avoiding the question. See, typical typical atheist with the spine of spaghetti. What proof or evidence do you have that atheism is accurate and correct? Yeah, I ask the, 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 the problem, Rich, is that atheism. We're atheists because of the lack of evidence for a God. So there's well, lack of evidence for atheism. So what proof or evidence do you have that atheism is accurate and correct? Okay, let, no, please, he's talking enough already. Third, so third time. Rich, Rich, I have answered your question because you keep interrupting me. Where's let the me proof? Try without you without the proof, it. you failed <laughs> miserably on live radio just, to provide any proof or evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. No, this does remind me of last night a little bit. Let's try this without, me inter without you interrupting. Will you allow me to complete a sentence? As yes, long no. as the next words out of your sweet, lovable atheist mouth is proof and evidence. We want, we, the world, if we're going to risk denying Jesus Christ, and we're going to have to believe uh, in some other type of proof or evidence, you guys are going to have to supply more proof and evidence than Jesus Christ supplied. And what is so good about atheism, where, where's the proof and evidence of atheism that would allow a rational person like me, an ex-atheist, who got two things, I got a brain, and I read the Bible, a heart, and I humbled myself when I confessed I'm a sinner. So I'm Thank not you. hearing any proof or evidence that atheism is accurate. And I know you're not hearing. You're not taking a pause to breathe. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Now, now the answer. Just try not to answer. You, you were, Rich, you said define atheism. as I No, I did, I did not say define atheism. <laughs> See, you're lying. Play back the audio. I said, what proof or evidence do you have? Don't lie. We have this recorded. How you unfair. You can later and hear what you said. Yeah, play it back. Atheism. I never said define atheism. I said, what proof or evidence do you have that atheism is accurate and correct? And I'm going to be really quiet, and I'm going to listen to the proof and evidence. Go okay. Ahead. Atheism is lack of belief in a God. When I say that atheism is correct, I mean that I don't have any belief in God. Do you understand that so far? Yes or no only, please. I understand you haven't supplied any proof for evidence. Yes, I understand you haven't supplied any proof for evidence. Yes, I understand you haven't supplied proof for evidence. So <laughs> where is it, though? <laughs> okay. The evidence Someone else on the I... line that could at least answer the question. Rich, first of all, the evidence that I don't believe in God is my say-so. I'm saying I don't believe in God because I know that for a fact. 
The same way if you ask someone, what's your favorite ice cream? How do you know it's for a fact? They say it's vanilla. Where's your proof? What's your favorite? Where's your proof that your favorite ice cream is vanilla? What is your proof that your favorite ice cream is vanilla? Can you prove that? Where's your proof for a fact? Where's your your proof? Listen. We want proof of evidence. I can give, I can you give have proof failed you miserably. Listen, questions. my sweet love boy. This is why I left the madness of atheism. It is based on faith. 100% faith. I, I, this man doesn't even understand, understand what atheism is. But I think you guys seem like you're pretty upset now. I have, we have shaken the foundation of atheism. Now that the whole world, and everyone on your show knows there is no proof or evidence for atheism. I can say the same thing for Christian. Now we're, going, now we're going to give Frank an opportunity to speak. So, Rich, zip it. It's just a matter I, of I, As long as I, we, am I going to have a chance to talk I, after Frankie I, Boy here? Just cut him off. We're going to let Frank talk. Oh, uh, running from the debate. No, no, no. no. You're, I, you're, I, you're, I, you're, am I going to have a chance to talk after Frank? Keep on the show. Just sure. leave, just you, you, call, you called in to ask us what we think. Just mute him. You can mute him. No, I asked what you for evidence. Proof of evidence. Stand by. Go ahead, ahead, Frank. We have have come to our conclusion that there is no God because of the lack of evidence. You know, extraordinary claims like they got in the Bible require extraordinary explanations. And we haven't seen hardly any explanations at all that aren't just drawn from fables. So we have come to the conclusion that there is no God. And uh, everything that happens to of man is either accomplished by man or is uh, destroyed by man. There is no God there to guide it. <coughs> that was a shock of God on a, a radio show, and he completely destroyed the atheist on the radio show. What I found really interesting there is I've come up against this for two years, this definition of atheism. And what you don't get from atheists is actual evidence for their atheism. And they use their definition to run away from the fact that they need to provide evidence and reasons for their beliefs. And they don't do that. They're very good at attacking you, but they, they don't provide evidence and reason. And I think that vi- that clip by Shock of God absolutely exposes modern atheism. I think it's a brilliant clip. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> How he, he just completely destroyed those atheists. And I think the problem with you atheists out there is you hang on to this definition. And in the end of the day, we ask that question, where is your accurate proof and evidence for atheism? Don't ask a question. Don't start def- giving us definitions. We we don't care about your definition what we care about is whether you've got some proof and accurate information and evidence to prove that your atheism is correct (coughs) and I have found uh, we've had some famous atheists make comments on on this channel (coughs) we have some famous atheists make comments on uh, Zwemer 100 but what we've never had from any atheist is any evidence from the atheist community that is accurate and that provides proof that atheism is correct in its assertions so why is that atheist why uh, why will you not provide the evidence why will you not provide the argumentation and the evidence to show that your beliefs are accurate and correct. What the atheists will do, they'll ask you questions, they'll attack your faith, they'll criticise you, but they won't stand and provide evidence themselves. <clears throat> you know, who came up with this definition of atheism? Where did it come from? No atheist has been able to tell me that yet. And why is it the best definition above other definitions? What arguments do you have to to prove that your definition of atheism is a better definition than other definitions of atheism? But even when you get to your definition, why at the end of the day don't you just give us some proof and evidence 
that atheism is correct. I say Shocker God completely and utterly destroyed you atheists. And I can see why you get angry with him, because he's absolutely demolished you. Alright. So thanks Shock of God, thanks for doing that and providing us with some total amazing clip that shows that atheism is completely rubbish and that we need to have something that we can hold on to and his name is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died and rose again. Thank you for listening and God bless you.